So welcome to Cloud CRM demonstration. Uh, the app is presented by CSI Works, and right after that, I'd like to demonstrate that the app is fully capable of functioning on all Clover devices. Of course, not Clover Go, but here's the Station Duo, here's mm -hmm. a uh, Flex, and a Mini. And all of them will function with this app perfectly fine. Now, for both of our sakes, I will continue with this demonstration on the station because it has the largest screen. And here we are. The functionality that, I, that I'd like to start off with is age verification technology. And this has to do with requiring uh, customers to prove their age in order to get um, age-restricted items such as tobacco, alcohol, or lottery. And... I will go ahead and, and turn this on and, sh and talk about those capabilities here and also in the process sort of explain the, the points of difference. So first of all, you can turn this technology on and use it on any items by just basically creating the age-restricted group and then assigning items to it. And without any kind of a setup, the app will automatically work with everything that is related to tobacco skin data. It'll say so right here. And this has to do with the incentives program that's being offered by the tobacco manufacturers such as Altria and Reynolds. And because we identify those items as part of that program, we right away know that those items do require age uh, verification. So there's no extra steps required to have those items age verified. And let's just see what's included. So for Altria, we're looking at two items. And again, this is my test device, obviously. Um, and these items are Camel Blue and Marlboro Silver. And so obviously the tobacco products, right? And then if we're looking at Reynolds, Reynolds will say Grizzly Long Cut and Newports, okay? And so these items will automatically be age verified. And then you as a merchant can go ahead and set up another group. Um, let me go ahead and delete. Um, there's one group that's age verified and we can go ahead and put our alcohol in there, okay? Like this. Um, and then we can just add another group 18 um, and put our lottery into it. Um, not sure that I have lottery. Um, let me fix this real quick. All right, we now have lottery. Uh, there it is. And we, got, we can grab our Mega Million item and have this one be identified as the item that requires uh, 18 of uh, years uh, to be purchased. And so another thing I'd like to mention, so this is item selection and age triggers here and the relationship of this program to Tobacco Scan Data and also the loyalty program, which is also part of Tobacco Scan Data. But about that, I will mention a little bit further down the road. And then also there is this customer information uh, storing settings. So because this barcode here on the driver's license offers all of these fields um, and the information this information can be stored on a customer record in Cloud CRM. Uh, and merchant can basically turn on and off uh, which parts of uh, this data set they, they wish to have. So that's another part of it. And then the rest is just basically the functionality inside register app. So let's go ahead and quickly demonstrate um, how age verification works. So here I am on a brand new uh, order and I'm going to grab Marlboro and scan it. And there it is, it's going to ask me for age verification. So at this point, I'm going to grab my driver's license and scan this part here with that same barcode scanner. And my age gets verified, uh, customer is over 21. And because this is the part where I'm talking about the loyalty, because this is the Cloud CRM, the same app, that talks about the loyalty program for the tobacco manufacturers, it offers to basically assign this customer to this transaction after age been verified, or we can skip it. So I'll go ahead and go ahead and add it. And because we've added it and we scanned another part of uh, you know one more Marlboro pack, the discount got triggered. And this discount has to do with the fact that the customer was assigned to this transaction. And these are the details of the loyalty program by Altria or company that owns this brand here. Now, 
this is going to be sort of a, um, a lead-in to the second part of the functionality that the cloud CRM offers, which is the loyalty program, right? So I go uh, settings, workflow management, and we have Altria loyalty program and we have Reynolds loyalty program. And Altria is the company that owns, you know, Marlboro brand and Reynolds is the company that owns Newport brand and other brands, obviously, but they both have other brands. Uh, but these are the companies and both of these programs are extremely specific in the sense that, you know, the manufacturer drives the details of the program, including the loyalty codes. And it's all extremely specific. So like right now, at this moment, these are the programs they're running. It's called Helix on USSTC. USSTC stands for United States uh, Smokeless Tobacco Company um, and other brands, right? So... And there's one that I have turned on. This is the one that triggered for Marlboro. It's the PMUSA P1, P4, right? So you can see the details of that uh, discount being set up here. There's that loyalty code that's being uh, required specifically by the tobacco manufacturer to be included in that discount. Item count is two, discount amount is a dollar. And there's some triggering settings here. And all of this is compliant with the program that Altria uh, offers okay and so let's just go back to our transaction here p uh, m u s a p one p dash four that's the dollar amount that triggered and this other one this other 25 cents is being triggered by an entirely different um, app so but the loyalty program happens to be the second part of the functionality that the cloud crm offers and that loyalty program exists today for altria and for uh, Reynolds loyalty. Uh, moving on, now I'm going to demonstrate the capabilities of item assignment again in the workflow management. So we've covered the loyalty program for scan data, um, Altria and Reynolds respectively, age verification technology which can be used across the board for uh, the, the liquor uh, and all of that. And now we're talking about require customer uh, select on checkout. And either allowing or not allowing to cancel that select. So I have it without allowing. So it's turned on. And what it means is that when we go to register app and let's just grab chicken because we have it, you know, that's not tobacco item or anything. Um, actually, let's just go ahead and save this because I already had like a customer assigned. So let's grab our chicken and here's our customer assignment. Right, so we can search for customers and we can just scroll um, and, and, and grab a customer and they get assigned. Um, and so this customer assignment can be forced on every transaction uh, during checkout and forcing the uh, customer assignment then enables you to keep track of your sales based on customer. And the order information on uh, those customers can be exported from Clover uh, using Cloud CRM on the web. And we're going to demonstrate that here now. I'm going to go ahead and navigate to um, the web interface, which is mostly is just the export capability. Uh, and so out of the box, you're going to see data dump and export. Um, and just keep in mind that if you need further customization, integration, or help of pushing this data to some specific sources, uh, please reach out and talk to us about commissioning our services and doing so, uh, because that is our expertise, basically. So let me kind of just show you around here. So we have customer types and customer types have specific customer forms. So that's why it's important and cool, right? So each customer has its own set of fields. Uh, customer type has its own set of fields. So it looks like there's a couple of records in the faculty. There's going to be one record in the government, no records in the vendor. Going to be a bunch of records here in the no category section. And, you know, it took a minute. Uh, 1,001 pages uh, and, you know, 10 records per page. So you do the math, right? 10 records per page with 1,000 pages. Um, that's how many records we just showed. And, um, you know, it, it, it does it fairly quick. And you can sort, you know, and you can also, um, 
see the uh, orders, right? So view orders, that's a big, big deal. Uh, no orders for this guy, but let's go ahead and just, I, I, I just have a couple of records here bookmarked that I know have or, uh, orders. You know, there's the pictures uh, capabilities. Um, so if we go into this guys, for example, um, you know, here's the list of transactions uh, that were handled, uh, that, that were attributed to this particular customer. Um, so, and uh, that list of transactions can also be exported. Uh, so let me show you again, go Excel and it opens like so, there it is, there's the list. Um, let me just go back, okay? And again, right out of the box, this is what you get. All right, thank you. Additional features for Cloud CRM include its ability to uh, differentiate between customer types, right? So merchants can create their own customer types or subtypes, um, and then each customer type can have their own customer specific form. Um, let me give you an example. So we have a form here that has uh, the, uh, you know, like a link here. Mm, probably should be an address, um, a phone number, uh, you know, the address and the, the day, birth date um, and, and, and pet's name, right? And you go, well, that's random. Why does it have that field? And reality, it has a bunch of different fields here um, that can be used. Uh, or oh, that was actually a company name uh, with the with the URL address there. Um, and a merchant can basically like configure that form to whatever they want. They can add whatever fields they want, including you know text, uh, numeric dates, uh, yes, no, drop down, image, and radio. Uh, and based on that, they can build out whatever customer form they need. Um, and so that can happen. In the tobacco world, none of this actually gets used. So this is probably going to be just some auxiliary functionality that can be found useful by non-tobacco merchants. Just the ability to have very customizable customer forms. Further, app is fully capable of working with the camera. Uh, and, and that becomes handy. Um, so let me just kind of demonstrate this on the Flex because Flex has this camera that looks forward, not at me. Um, and so what I'm going to do is just grab one of these customers here that has an icon but doesn't have a picture. So we're going to go ahead and edit profile and see how there's this edit button for the profile. So we can just go ahead and take that picture and I'll go ahead and point... Uh, let's say i'll just see like there's the camera and i'm pointing down um and i'm gonna take the photo so there it is i took the photo um and that's what it looked like um, and it has the ability to work with the photos in that sense right in a sense that you can uh, add like a, a little avatar or you can also add a, um, a field that is a picture. So let me go ahead and show edit, right? So here we are, we're on this edit page here. Um, and I can just click on this add button and say picture, let's just say pick, right? And choose uh, image, all right? And say that it's an optional field and we'll go ahead and add it. And so we've added that field and then we can go ahead and edit. Uh, hmm. One more. Let me just oh. there you go, that's more valid. We don't have to deal with any of that. So let's go ahead and edit. All right, so we're outside of that field, but now let's go back in and we have our picture. Here it is, right? So we can edit, uh, edit profile. Here's our picture and we can go ahead and take a picture and it'll just point at my 
a beautiful fire sprinkler and we can go ahead and take a photo of that fire sprinkler and there it is there's the photo and then we can just exit out of that and so it would be saved with that customer so basically this capability works on all devices right like you can do the picture uh, on the flex like i just demonstrated you can do the picture on uh, the, the station here and on the mini uh, basically with the built-in cameras um, and so that's also available on the on the cloud crm app and perhaps that's it thank you